Hey people, Ninja Flunk out here, and I'm here to deliver you a message. Scripting is important in Pokemon game you're making and stuff. Yes, that's true. But mapping is probably not as important, but still very important. So today we're gonna I'm gonna take a little break from PKSD tutorials and just go over some of the features of advanced map. Um, if you already know pretty much everything there is to advanced map, you don't have to watch this video unless you want to review. If you aren't that, like, if you don't really know it that well, um, then watch. But if you know the basics, you want to, I'm going to be reviewing this today. Map connections, as well as creating new maps and inserting new maps. So, if you don't know how to do those two, just skip to like when I get to those parts. Um, but for now, I'm going to review these five tabs, the basics. Um, before we start, I'm going to give you a little warning. When you're editing the game, save a backup. Trust me, you will regret not saving a backup sooner or later if you don't. It is very important, so you save all your files in case you mess up. You can start from where you saved. Now, if you save commonly, that's good. If you save occasionally, that's okay. If you don't save at all, I hope you're perfect, because you're going to need to be. So, let's just start. Pallet Town looks like this. If we go to Map, you see all these tiles that you can use to change the game. I had a little sign here and some grass here and maybe bushes right there. All right, so that's just basic changing. Um, that's about it. For, oh, border block. So you can change what the border looks like. Um, yeah, you can change it to like grass and whatever. So. Let's move on to movement permissions. When you click on this tab, everything is like red and purple. Um, the red blocks have one in it, the purple blocks have C, and the light violet have four. One, if there's a one block over someplace, it means you cannot walk over that location. So, if I put it over on the bush and the sign, you can't walk into the bushes and sign. So when you are over here and you're trying to walk, right? You can't. You just walk in place. C, you can walk over it. Um, it's like pretty straightforward. I don't think I have to give any more explanation. But um, all these blocks here are for you to play with. You can do whatever you want. All you have to do is hover your mouse over one of the blocks and then read the description that's around there. So for example, 3 is 4 is possible height to surfer. So then you have to surf over four over movement permissions of four. Eight is passable height one. And play around, do whatever you want. Let's go on to events. So when you go to events, you see all these boxes with P and W and stuff. Mm. So uh, you can I'm pretty sure you already know about person events. I mean, it's pretty easy to figure out. And I did review scripts in uh, the green script box tutorial of PKSB, so I'm not going to go over that. So I'm just going to focus on signposts and warps. Alright, so let's add a signpost. Oh, by the way, if you don't see the red at square S in the corner, just click on this. So if you see these people and stuff, that means they're not in the right one, so click on it, and then you get these boxes. So then, I'll put it over the S and write a sign script. Writing sign scripts are really easy if you know how to write basic... If you know how to write basic scripts, you're okay. The only difference with between this and basic scripts is that the call is TD is signed, not normal. That's all. Just that easy.
Yes, this is a sign. Oh, whoops. I already have a... I don't need this. Before I try to write a... Make this video again, but then somehow... Advanced map closed down. And I couldn't use advanced map to read this game, so I had to delete the game and make a new... And Well, not delete the ROM, but like, I have to use another version. And you already know that downloading ROMs is illegal, but if you own the game, you're good. I own Pokemon Fire Red and the Green, both. So, yeah. anyways, so that's signpost. And then let's move on to... I'll go over warps a bit more when we're going to inserting maps. But warp... So, the bank number is the first number next to the name. The map is the second number. The warp number is the warp number that you're going to warp to. So if we go to 4-0, Pallet Town. So you see how this is warp number 1. Um, you warp to that warp. Alright, so that's about it with events. Let's go on to about Pokemon. So just click expand if you don't have any Pokemon data. And then check which one you want. It's pretty easy to figure out. This is minimum level of encounter in Pokemon, this is maximum. And then this is the type of Pokemon you can encounter. So, with this you can encounter- I'm gonna put Rigirock just for laughs. No, I don't cheat. I'm just putting it in because it's kind of funny. Encountering a level 1 Rigirock in Palatown. Alright, so this is the last tab header. This is like basic information of your map, Pallet Town, that's the name. You can change it to anything you want. Oops. Click change name after you're done, and then, oops, I spelled video wrong. Alright, there. So then this is the new name. And then this just decides whether or not in the game, at the top left corner, you see your village name. Um, when you're playing the game or entering the village. And then this is map options, the music, music number, um, K, regular. So regular is like you can see all the entire map. Dark flash usable is like when you can only see yourself in a cave, but you can use flash to see the entire cave. Dark unused, flash unusable is you just can't use flash to see. Weather, regular weather, Type, it's a village, fight type, random. Map script. So, this is used to writing level scripts. Um, I'm not going to go over too much detail. I'll go over, over it in the second advanced map tutorial. But if you really want to know how to write level scripts, um, I favorited a video by Adam060962 or something like that. Um, you can find it in my channel. I don't have that many favorites. But um, he explained pretty well how to write level scripts. And you're going to need a program called XSE by Hackmu. Just type it in Google, you'll find it for sure. And just follow his directions. He uses pocket script, but just write um, a green script box like how I showed you in the tutorial. And then um, do everything else um, he does after that. So tile sets. You can change the type of tiles you have over here. So you notice like there's like a gap right here. That shows like different, you know, so like, so like there's tile set one and tile set two, zero, one. This first half over the black spots is tile set zero. The second half is tile set one. So if you change them, You get this. You just get a new title. And that's pretty much it. I'll change it back because it looks stupid. Yeah. Alright, map dimensions. It's fairly easy to figure out. I mean, if you can't figure it out, if you can't figure this out, say this changes the width this changes the height that's as simple as it gets 
Alright, so now we're done with the tabs, let's move on to map inserting. So if you want to create a new map, just click this door next to the sun, or a door, house, next to the sun. And this is the map name, you can change it. The width and height, 2010. No pun intended. The tile sets, click create, and then you get your map. So like, 15 is used inside caves, you can do whatever you want, paint it and stuff, but when you're done, click on this, um, a house next to an arrow, and then you see this map, current saving space. So if you want to replace a map you already have, click zero, um, put the map, map bank here, so if I put map bank 3, map number 0, I replace video test. You probably won't need available space, and to be honest, I don't really know much about it. I don't use it. But if you want to create new space, just put in a map bank, so zero. If I put in zero, there's going to be a new map at the end. Number of reserved maps. If you want to insert like 20, just put in 20. But I don't want to insert this map because I didn't really do anything. But if you want to save your map, go to File, Map, Save Map As, you get all your maps. So if you want to open a map, go to open map, and you get your files again, but I can't seem to find the map I want. Oops. Okay, so I'll just use the school. This is the map of my school, of uh, the school in the game that I'm currently making. So, I got kind of and just put flowers and grass around in a border. I didn't put any movement permissions in it, so you can walk anywhere. And I didn't put any events either, so yeah, let's insert it. So I want to create a new space, I'll create a new bank, I only want one. Click create insert. If it was successful, you should see this, the map was successfully registered as blah blah blah. And then, this is my new bank, this is my new map. So, that's how you insert maps. Now, let's review map connections. Hold on a sec, let me just fix, because I have another map that I saved and I can't seem to read, so just give me a sec. Alright, got it. Let's see, school 2. Yup, this is my part of the second map of the school I want to add in the game. Insert. Alright, so, mm, I'll change the border a bit. How to insert it is you click on this and then you see this. Click add. Um select the direction where you want to link. This is gonna be the top, so I'm gonna click down because I want to link my map down. Map bank, the first number 43, map number zero. So then after you're done, click save. That's all there is to it. To check if it worked, click on the arrow you just made. If everything was good, you should be arrived at the second map which you wanted to link. So, let's connect it. This is going to be the bottom part of the map, so I'm going to click up. Map bank 43, map number 1, save. Click up to make sure it works, and I link to, my, to the other map. So that's how you link maps. Now let's save the game and see if it works.